People talk a lot about the need for change. How are we going to solve the world's problems? Because we want better lives for all of us. But solving problems has to start with asking the right questions. How are nine billion people going to live on just the one planet? Think of the challenges we'll all face. Air quality. Climate change. Transport. Food security. These are all issues that need dealing with right now. It's a massive challenge. And a lot of it has to do with energy. It needs to be uh, affordable and accessible and reliable. It's a complex issue because the world is still developing. I mean, 80% of people have never been near an airplane. Change is inevitable. We'll need more energy. But it has to be viable. For example, in India, two-thirds of rural households still cook using firewood. Alternatives could help transform their environment. How can Aramco make a difference? Let's face it, oil isn't going anywhere anytime soon. There's nothing quite like it. But we need to find ways to make it more sustainable. Cleaner. Better. Being right at the heart of global energy supply means that we're in a unique place to do just that. What I'm doing won't change things on its own, but if you look at all the other projects going on around the business, it really adds up. Like, right now I'm working on the next generation of automobile engines. The opposed piston engine. When combined with optimized fuel, it means 50% increase in fuel efficiency. I mean, that's just incredible, right? What about our impact on the planet? How we act is just as important to me as what we do. We already have one of the lowest carbon intensities of any major oil producer by a long way. I'm pretty proud of that, but we have to do more. I'm working with some of the smartest scientists and engineers in the world, finding new answers to the big questions. Like implementing carbon dioxide into new polymers or storing it on the ground. Reducing emissions and carbon intensity for future generations. And we're putting something back, enhancing our culture. Planting a million trees, two million mangroves and counting. And we have our wildlife reserve in Sheba. Why does diversification matter? We're a massive company, like really massive. I think we're one of the world's largest, aren't we? We're in all kinds of business areas all over the world. And we're acquiring and developing new businesses all the time. And this gives us that stability so we can invest in new technologies that can really change things. So, what are we doing right now? Innovation. Big data, AI. Robotics, uh, cognitive computing. Embracing the fourth industrial revolution. Technology that will drive rapid change. Our Terra Power Simulator allows us to model our reservoir in much greater detail, so we can manage them far more efficiently. Our crude to chemicals program could transform the whole industry. By removing some of the processes, we can directly convert crude oil into chemicals in one single step. I'm working in non-metallics, uh, new materials that don't have the corrosion issues the metals have. The potential is enormous uh, in automotive, construction, packaging, and the renewables. Every one of our breakthroughs improves our ability to make oil more sustainable. So, what about the future? That is the billion dollar question. It's a really exciting time to be part of Saudi Aramco. It's really cool what we're doing. I feel like what I do actually means something. I've always wanted to work at the cutting edge of technology and now I am. On any given day, 
we're working really hard to make the most of every single drop of oil that we produce. And no, we don't have all the answers, not yet. But we're determined to get there. Together, we are bringing new ideas to life every single day. We are ready for the future.